glad this is the last day of the tournament. It's Sunday, and then I'm just walking to the venue. I don't think it's gonna rain today, but the ground's a little wet out here, so we'll have to wait and see the courts if they run all 16 courts, I don't know. Hopefully they run all 16, but you never know. Okay, see ya. Courts look dry as a bone, so we should be good to go. You and I are here today. You and I are here today. Pickleball is here to stay. Pickleball is here to stay. Now to hoagie, you're so fine. Now to hoagie, you're so fine. Try to keep this all in line. Try to keep this all in line. Now to her and her volunteers. Now to her and her volunteers. We offer you a great big cheer. People are warming up. I got my first assignment already. Court five. So this is my last day of repping. All right. Look forward to it. Well, the tournament is all over and I'm going to head back to Lake Havasu, but what I learned by being a pickleball ref, what I found interesting was the lower level players, the 3.5s, basically 3.0, 3.5 level players. If the ball was on the line, it was out. If it was barely out, it was way out. And then they would challenge constantly because the team that hit the shot saw that the ball was in or hit the line, but of course the team that was receiving would call it out. And then they would constantly ask the ref, hey, was it was it out? And then for the most part, I didn't make that call because I was watching their feet. I didn't see it. But when I would make the call that I saw clearly the ball being in when they called it out, that team would get mad because <laughs> I called it out. Uh, and then when... When they would hit one uh, that was probably in, but the other team called out and asked if I saw it and I didn't see it, they would get mad because I didn't see it. But it could be clearly on the other side of the court, way back in the corner, that I didn't see because I'm watching feet. Uh, they would get mad. It was crazy. So that was the three O's, three fives. Once you started getting four O, four five, five O. If the ball wasn't a half an inch out or on the line, it was definitely in. They they would never call that ball out. They never called a ball out that was questionable. It was always in. It was very refreshing. And they would discuss with the other team, hey, you know, if, if it was clearly out, you know, a couple inches out, six inches out, they would call it out and then say, hey, to the other team, hey, I saw that out. And the other team would confer, yeah, it was out. So it was, it was, they were cordial to each other. They were friendly to each other. It made the match better because they weren't so, uh, I'm just going to say mean. But the rules say you need to err to the side of your opposition, that the, that the call should go to your opponent and not to yourself. The lower levels, they always wanted the call to go to themselves. The upper levels, they gave the benefit of the doubt that it was in even if it was out. And I saw, clearly, if they would ask me, I would say, yeah, that ball was out. But they would call it in because it's either, and I'm thinking that these tournament players in the higher levels always see each other. 
They always play against each other and see each other, so they don't want... And they, they swap partners. They play with each other. Wow, oh, that sounded pretty bad. The guy they're playing against today might be their partner tomorrow or might be their partner in the next weekend. The mixed doubles, they might be playing against a, a girl or a guy that might be their partner the next week. So maybe that's why they're uh, better at, at calling these shots and not so tight or but that's what i thought for the most part everybody's real friendly and having a good time i just noticed that some of the lower level players were pretty mean and very tight on their calls let's say okay hey i appreciate everybody watching if you want me to keep posting these then hit the like button do some comments, subscribe to my channel, and then I'll keep posting because that keeps me motivated to, to do this. It takes a lot of work to do this, and, and I don't mind doing the work. I love it. I just want to hopefully that people are enjoying my work.